But United knew that they would find things very difficult against the experienced Rapid Vienna. However, Saturday's win of a Celtic would certainly have given Jim McLean's side a confidence booster before tonight's match. Our commentator in Vienna, Archie McPherson. Rapid Vienna, that's a side built round three great players, the sweeper Herbert Weber and of course the great Czechoslovakian internationalist who's played over 60 times for his country and we've also seen him rather painfully score goals against Scotland, Anton Penenka at number eight and of course the great Hans Krankel back from Spanish football now leading a great charge by Rapid both in the league and in Europe. United are playing exactly the same team as played standard Liège. That means they're based on experience. Tommy Coyne, who's playing very well just now over the past couple of games for United, doesn't have the kind of experience required. So in comes Ralph Milne. Ralph Milne, who scored more goals for United in Europe than any other player, 11. And I'm sure if he did one tonight, uh, the manager and the rest of his colleagues would be extremely happy. Well, off we go, and the stadium is certainly far from full. Maybe that's not surprising, because last night Vienna enjoyed a carnival, like a mixture of uh, Hockmanet and Mardi Gras. And uh, I'm surprised at all that there anybody here. They were up all night making a tremendous din, and one wonders if these supporters will cause the kind of uh, noise that can sometimes intimidate foreign teams. But United are playing with uh, a team full of experience, Certainly Jim McLean toyed with the idea of bringing on Tommy Coyne, whom he thinks has a great future in store for him. But Ralph Milne comes in, the man who scored more goals for United in European football than any other in the club. Scored four this season, 11 and all. There's a referee, by the way, who refereed United in Radnitsky Nish. And he was, I have to say, in a warning, Hope it doesn't augur badly. He was one of the worst European referees I've ever seen. The pitch is in absolutely ideal conditions. It was covered by a tarpaulin last night because of the danger of a snowfall, and it is a bitterly cold evening. There's Panenka, whom we have seen scoring against Scotland in the past. Beautiful little dummy by Paul Sturrock. Now Bannon. Both of whom played remarkably well for United on Saturday. That's not a bad ball. Look at David Dodds. Well, I think Sturrock, in fact, was asking for the header put back to him. Very ineffectual header by Dodds. He ought to have done better from that position. Right to the goal line and gets the corner kick. Very quickly taken, Panenka, driving it forward. 35 years of age, Panenka, lovely little dab forward and that's a goal kick. And I think he ought to be annoyed with that finishing by Kranka. Notice Panenka, there he is on the left at the bottom of the picture. Panenka's ploy in any match is to hide for long periods and then suddenly erupt forth. There it is. <laughs> exactly that. Well, if you see Panenka coming in behind the ball, as I said, he skulks during a game and uh, his hit and runs are extremely dangerous. In he came with that really vicious shot just the wrong side of the pose, but oh dear, that is a warning to United. Almost 10 minutes gone. Still no scoring. Panenka. Very wide. Kinast. Only Paul Sturrock is in front of that. Paul is a great save by McAlpin. And the Austrian players were claiming that that had gone over the line. I think what United must worry about is the latitude they were given going into the box. Well, suddenly that attacker eluded all the cover. McAlpin getting right down to the post. Panenka inside. 
This is Klenka. Bringersbauer. Putting on the pressure. There's a good ball and McAlpin saves again. And look at the number of players who got in there. Keglevich almost putting that away. And United look woefully exposed there. Now they tell me Panenka sometimes has a shot at goal from the corner flag. He hits it so hard. Well, that's curling a lot. No, he couldn't keep it in. That was Lena. Leo Lena and Jim McLean came to the touchline screaming at his defense. No wonder. Mr. McLean suffering temporary apoplexy. David Dodds lays it off well. There's Milne. Excellent play by Mel. Needs touch to the side and is. Now Bannon. Will he try the shot? He does. And Stella Coleman puts it away. That's better play by United. Sturrock intelligently, not pausing at all, coming up very quickly behind that shot. Breggers bar. Goff. Again, giving possession away. Kinas. Brucic. Obviously, Weber will want to slip forward as well. The hit and run, Brucic, looking menacing, but the shot isn't. So there's no scoring. A few brows being wiped, and there's no question about it that any time I've seen United abroad, Jim McLean has got them all to work hard. Sometimes there are one or two defects, but uh, they can never be faulty for work rate. Sturrock, Bannon. Well, if Bannon can get going on the left, I think he's disturbed the Austrians by his speed. The fullback there, uh, Lena coming across, looking slightly. They're stuck with a shot. It's a great goal. Oh, a superb goal. Well, I've seen Derek Stark hit them from there before in domestic football. But that is a superb shot which the goalkeeper and an excellent one, Feurer, had no chance with. Beautifully laid back there by Paul Sturrock. And watch this. I don't think Panenka could have done any better himself. Rattled in. And Feurer just that bit too late. And so, practically on the half hour, that is one of the most valuable goals that the United have ever scored in European football. That is a great start for them now. It lightens the load considerably, I'll tell you, that scoreline you've just seen. Breggers bar. Well, not surprisingly, this crowd rather hushed. Stolak back, everybody's back in the penalty area. The entire 11 United players facing up to this corner kick. Round it goes, and there's a great save, and he's still got it. Suddenly there was a free header. Krankel coming in, it's a free kick now. And Hamish McAlpin showing great courage in this his 42nd appearance in European football for United. But how on earth did he get the free header like that? Certainly no offside. That should have been put away, but look. Beautiful little piece of gymnastics by Hamish, who has played 
more times in European football than uh, any current player at the moment. Scotland. Hegarty. Stark can't get it. There's Panenka. Trying to get it to that foot of his. And gratefully scooped up. Well, I think Otto Baric thought it might have gone in better than that. Well, someday we'll get a lip reader in to interpret these things for us. Well, that's not a bad ball. There's Bill. Now, you're going to run at them. Here's Richard Goff on the outside. There's Bill. Hegarty. On to Sturrock. Two men covering Sturrock. Leaves Goff loose and Bannon. Virtually on the halftime whistle. This is Bannon. Oh, I think he's slipped more than anything. Tackle wasn't particularly strong. to Panenka. Halftime whistle should go any second. Kevlovic. Now Lena. David Daly, that's a better, more solid header. Just one or two little casual moments for United. One or two players. Neri again, Panenka! And just as well, he hasn't had the accuracy to match the venom of the shots this evening. Well, we've gone a full minute over the 45. Hegarty. Dodds. Lena. There's Stark. The whistle goes, but it's not for half time for the free kick. Panenka with it. Hovering menacingly and touched back as Krankel came in. Total lack of misunderstanding. And when is this halftime whistle going to go? We're two minutes beyond it, would you believe? For reasons I can't quite understand. And then it goes now. There he is, the man who I think did United an extreme disservice when they played in Yugoslavia. United are one up. And just sit back and relish that goal again. Absolutely superbly conceived and brilliantly finished. This is a thing you'll love to see from a Scottish team abroad. Made everybody here sit up, take notice. United quite capable of scoring this uh, kind of goal in any game. But this was vital for them. And is that a marvellous sight with United now. One goal up at halftime. And if they just keep the head, don't get too casual. I think the evening is going to work out successfully for them. Well, I would imagine in the second half, Rapid are going to be very aggressive indeed. And I'm sure they realize that more than anybody else, because they do the research very thoroughly here, that United have an amazing record away from home in Europe. In the last 13 games, they've only lost three. And uh, that is an incredible performance by, by Jim McLean's uh, team. I think uh, Rapid also slightly concerned about their total fitness because they've had a long break in the season and they haven't yet restarted the league championships. It's, it's done in two halves. Oh, that's way over. Well behind that, that's uh, Pregas Bar. 
Well, they kick with. Kirk were just keeping it in, but in steps Keglevich. Faber, who was strolling through the game until it was 1-0 down, and then suddenly he's busting forward a great deal. Panenka. Well, I gave Panenka a great build-up for this game because I've seen him playing before, and... <laughs> To say that he has disappointed me is only in a technical sense. I'm delighted he's having a very mediocre night. There he is there. Certainly hasn't shown us the touches he has in the past. Maybe not surprising for a 35-year-old. Weber. Sliding all the way through. And McAlpin, who's in a marvellous night, but really, even in making that save, one hopes that the United defenders in front of him give him, give him a much easier second half. I mean, he really saved the jerseys in that first 45 minutes. And I think the referee will have to halt the play. I don't know whether that's a sign of disgust or not. Well, Faber kicking it away, which is more accurate than they've done with the ball so far. Across the far side, and David Neri. Oh! So hard hit. Panenka. Far side. And that's over. It's a goal kick. Well, the pressure on right away, as I, I expected, and they are throwing high balls across this goal mouth. That man there hasn't let the side down, but uh, I think that central defence will have to tighten up. Derek Stark scored that stunning goal. As good a goal as I've seen in Europe in a long while. Played to this side. David Odds won't get that. Goff. That's better play by Goff. Did the right thing. Milne, away he goes. Looking for support inside. Bannon tries to get in. There's Stutter. There's Bannon. And the deflection, Sturrock. That may have been hands, yes. Well, in pushing people forward, you see, Rapid have caused some gaps there, and the United are the very team that could exploit it. Well, there's Panenka, almost in the right back position. Hegarty being turned. That's a good looking ball to Breakers Bar. Oh. Disastrous finish. Milne. Was a very flank ball. David Dodds might just pick it up. He does. Away he goes. He's got Sturrock on the left. That's Bannon coming up. Sturrock on the other side. Bannon. No, too many defenders. Now that's a threatening ball. Penenka. He's got acres of space. Well, that's a good run by Krenkel. And Hegarty. Free kick brought down there as Krenkel followed through. Notice how the two front runners set off in different diagonal directions, confusing the United defense. And we're getting a substitution now. Wilfart. Gerald Wilfart. That's uh, a signaling for something like good football, I hope. Should be misinterpreted. Well, that's a better touch. Well, that's all born of relying on the confident hands of a goalkeeper. Pass back under pressure like that. It's open now to Sturrock. I think that was the ball intended for Eamon Bannon. Yugoslav Brucic. I 
And United haven't allowed this rapid defence to settle. That's a good ball inside, all the same. Kevlovic vying for the opening and the shot. Penenka rather weak. Starak up on his own, almost gets away with it. Back goes Milne. Pregasbar, very impressive player in right midfield. Or oh, good interception there by Stark. Stark, one of the unsung heroes at uh, Tanadice. Very difficult to put a category to him, what kind of player he is. Something can score goals, can't he? Panenka. Egerty, intelligent header, Stark in again. What he's doing tonight is going around midfield, pounding forward in support of the attack, as you saw in that first half. Tackling very well. Corner kick. Well, as you can see from the clock, 15 minutes of the second half gone and this is a very interesting in fact a free kick there very interesting situation that's Panenka cuddling it away and into the hands of Hamish McAlpin again would you believe it's rather magnetised the ball tonight Neri and it's out oh they're mixing it a little bit of frustration creeping in through the Austrian players and I think uh, a few words of advice to David Daly there from that dugout. Keglevich wants the return. Now Sturrock's way back. Well, they won't be boasting about that kind of header. Panenka, it's a beautiful ball again, and how did he miss it? Once again, the defence left it. Hamish McAlpin woefully exposed, and that was Keglevich. Well, watch the ball. Superb outside of the foot cross there by Panenka. They let it go. Look at golf ducking. And there was Keglevich just outside of picture. I think it might have been the sheer amazement of getting the opportunity which caused him to miss it. Down to Dodds. Here's Banner. Sturrock is on site. Sliding into him. Well, Keglevich coming off. The Austrian crowd don't actually like this. So, Hagmeyer is on. Starak, a little bit of twisting there, and I think it's, yes, foul throw, throw to Rapid, Faber. Well, wonder if he's slightly disappointed by that decision by Otto Baric to take him off. Weber. Malpas gets behind it. That's not a bad ball to David Dodds. Oh, he takes his eye off it. Slight lapses in concentration. Now, this is Bannon. Driving on. Head over the ball. You try to find Milne. Not quite enough. That's a brilliant turn. This is Hagmeyer. Known to be a very strong runner, and there's Richard Goff. To Mill. Oh, playing it a little too cleverly, Goff. Some slack play creeping into United. They must concentrate all the time. It's meant for Sturrock.
Pavanka. Rapid using that square ball. Starak goes with the defender, who is Kina. Oh, but a kick was a little unfortunate. He didn't pick that up. That's Panenka. Richard Goff is behind it. And away goes Bill. Paul Sturrock did it. Mill trying it on his own. Well, I thought he was going to penetrate right through the middle. Seems to hold back a bit eventually. There he is. He's had a very good night. Dodd slightly hesitating and... The ball hitting his hand. Free kick. Brucic. It's a bit of space there. Decides to fire it in and disappoints. One, two, three, four. Rapid players, including, including the captain, Crankle. It looks as if he could form it, actually. There it is. It's in. Weber. The equaliser. No, it's Hagmeyer. Hagmeyer it was. The substitute equalises. Yet again, a free header. Watch it. The United defence, master. That little chip across. And no protection for the goalkeeper at all. Any step. And away from McAlpin with absolutely no chance. So Hagmar, the substitute, makes it one all with uh, just under 14 minutes left. That's the free kick this time. No question about it. Just under 10 minutes before the final whistle. And Hegarty, very good header. They played around neatly. Well, it's a great tackle again by Stark. He's played that role to perfection. Dodds gave up. He was worried about the referee's whistle. Ruchic. That's a cross ball and they ought to have done better with it. United, quite frankly, have been on the rack against that kind of play. Now, Paul Sturrock on his own. Billy Kirkwood Stalak inside Was a good run by Kirkwood David Dodd oh. Well I think he was surprised he got the opportunity And Stalak annoyed that he didn't push it inside That was a, an ineffectual ending Now Crankle back Trying to find the ball Get his players going again Crankle picks it up. And he can't get a shot in. Good covering by United that time. Four minutes left. Panenka. That's a troubling ball. And a great save again. And it must be... That is the winner by Kranka, the Yugoslavian. 2-1. Quite astonishingly. Rapid have fought back. Again, the cross ball doing all the damage. There's the man who put it in, Panenka. And no matter how manfully they defended there, with a superb save again by McAlpin down there, the break of the ball against United and Franca slot.